Hello everyone, my name is Andy Stewart and I'm a solution engineer for the ArcGIS Indoors team. In today's demonstration, I will show workflows that will help save time and resources across organizational staff, visitors, and visiting staff by making incremental improvements in day-to-day -day employee experiences and facility management and operations. What I'll cover in the next couple of minutes includes understanding how floor plans are accessible in an easy to use web and mobile application, quickly understanding how we can route from building rooms to other building rooms, efficiently utilizing Esri building floor plans as a way to launch work orders and having the usage of IBM Maximo, IBM Tririga, ServiceNow, and CityWorks as third-party management systems to push work order locations to your facility maps, and a common operational view for everything going on across your facilities, which includes operations management, and space management. As I understand, employees and visitors currently need a way to explore a single pane of glass for their respective facilities. Through a simple automated process, we took CAD floor plan data, which could have also been Revit floor plan data, to seamlessly configure them into the ArcGIS Indoors web and mobile applications. What you currently see on your screen is the ArcGIS Indoors web application. The ArcGIS Indoors web application is where day-to-day -day employees and maintenance staff will clearly see what is going on for their respective facilities. In the app, we can see the building floor plans and the building footprints for Esri's Redlands main campus. If we select buildings, such as building Q, it will open the floor plan information regarding that specific facility. Since it is floor aware, we can select different floors of building Q to better understand the space we are looking at. We can also look at the right pane to get more information in regards to the facility and a particular unit that we're looking at. Additionally, we can use the facility selector to find another building we need to pan to. Particularly, I'm panning to building M. If you want to search for a particular room, asset, person, work order, or point of interest, we could use our Explore panel as a catalog for indoors and outdoors campus-related information. And I can use the Smart Search functionality at the top if we already know the point of interest we're searching for. Here I'm searching for the office of my colleague James Manning's desk. James Manning is a close co-worker of mine who currently sits on the second floor of Building M. Since I'm currently talking to James at his desk, I'm going to save his location as a favorite in my places. I realize that I have to attend a meeting over in one of Building Q's conference rooms. I'm leveraging my computer's calendar in Office 365 calendar system to quickly have locations of meetings by going to my events button. I can use the directions button to find how I'm going to go from James Manning's desk to that meeting room. As you can see, James Manning is a saved location and auto populates in the search field. On the fly, routable directions are populated in the pane. You'll notice that I'm taking the stairs. I can also have my transitions to take me through the elevator. You will notice a solid and dotted route. The solid route represents the floor that I'm currently taking, and the dotted route represents the floor I'm not looking at in my directions pane. Once I've reached my final destination, I'm going to scroll up to the top and show where the auditory button is. The auditory button will be played for those individuals that cannot look at the directions but can listen to it. We can also look at the distance traveled and the time it would take to get to that final destination. If I'm an employee that finds situational awareness helpful, I can easily toggle to 3D and analyze the routes inside and outside the buildings. We can also gather more perspective on where facility equipment, assets, points of interest, and building units are throughout the campus. Returning to the conference room where the meeting is being hosted, I noticed a problematic issue involving sanitation. 
Particularly when I went into the events tab, I noticed that the amount of bookings for this conference room was overutilized over these past couple of days. Therefore, I'm demonstrating how an employee can launch a work order request for cleaning by using either IBM Maximo, Tririga, ServiceNow, and or CityWorks to create that request. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and launch a work order survey. In the survey, I'm going to fill out the necessary fields to ensure that maintenance management properly take care of this issue. I can also add more context by adding a picture of the ongoing problem. Once the work order request is submitted, maintenance management can push the request and have it come through in the ArcGIS Indoors web application. By turning on the work orders, maintenance management can visualize any created work order requests. Particularly, I can look at the room cleaning request I just created. Another way to look at work orders is by going into the Explore panel, where you can catalog work orders by issue type, date submitted, priority, and status. If we need to analyze historical and recently created work orders for particular rooms, we can have them manage in related items to be able to quickly look at for repeated problems. Seeing that there has only ever been one request for room sanitation in this particular room, the operations manager can quickly share the work order location by clicking the share button. Here, he or she can quickly ensure that a cleaning custodian is notified and helps by resolving the issue. The work order request email can be set up programmatically by an organization's notification center. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and notify myself acting as the cleaning custodian for this issue. And in my next demonstration, I will show how the cleaning custodian receives the email notification and how to easily wayfind and resolve that problem. As the mobile notification for the work order comes through, the custodian can quickly access the work order's location in the ArcGIS Indoors Maps. As the custodian opens the link to the location, he'll have the choice of opening the map in the mobile application or in the web map Safari browser. Being that I'm a technician that already has the application downloaded to my cell phone, I will continue to demonstrate the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application. Say I'm a technician who has not done a current job site, I have the ability to save work orders location to my places where I can have access to where it is on the map for future reference. Additionally, I can programmatically have my cell phone's calendar sync with my work order location. This method can be applied to Office 365 calendars and mobile device calendars to be ingested into the app itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to route from that work order location from an entry point over in building M. I'm currently over in building M at that entry point. I want to be able to look at the directions so I can click on each segment of the route to understand how I'm going to get to that conference room. Once I've reached the final destination of the conference room, I'll go ahead and select that work order. One thing to note is that if I was on site currently, you would see a blue dot represent my current location. And that would be leveraging IPS technology such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi surveyed beacons throughout your entire building. So now that I have the work order brought up on the map, I'm going to go ahead and click that more button. What this is going to allow me to do is update the work order status from assigned to completed. So now I'm going to ensure that I go down to the status of the work order and I click completed and I also go to the issue title and I type out completed also. This is going to allow my supervisor to have a better understanding that I've actually completed the work order 
and that they can go into their mobile application or web application and see that the work order is completed on the map. Also, the custodian has the ability to take an image of the work that they've done to show that it is completed. Once the work order has been submitted by the custodian, the custodian, supervisor, and or the employee that submitted the work order can go back into the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application and view the status of the work order as completed. Now looking at the title of the work order and the status of the work order, we can see it as completed. In my next demonstration, I'm going to show an ArcGIS Indoors operations dashboard which can be leveraged for KPIs and real-time information for work orders across facilities and the campus. What you now see on your screen is the ArcGIS Indoors operations dashboard for work orders. This dashboard provides executives a common operating picture for all work order groups and provides managers the ability to understand what is going on for their respective departments to make more informed decisions. Here, we can quickly glance at the buildings and their floor plan models. Additionally, we've added work orders to the map to better understand where incidents have occurred. If we wanted to search and filter for a specific building or floor, we can do so with the facility selector and the vertical order selector. Looking at building Q, we can use the right pane and toggle for that building's work orders to visualize important details. Specifically, we can see the completed work order that the cleaning custodian worked on. We can also come over to the list in the left pane to look at that completed work order. Additionally, we can manage ongoing work orders by looking at the above list for open work orders. The ArcGIS Indoors Operations Dashboard for Work Orders can also be helpful in deriving important analysis. Here, we can click on the various tabs below the map to understand campus operations more thoroughly. The first graph helps to understand the number of work orders by their status to leverage communication between staff. We can also look at the number of work orders by their priority to understand which incidents should be fixed right away. We can also leverage a bar graph for the number of work orders for a given due date to manage and ensure they are completed. And finally, we can visualize the number of work orders submitted that day to analyze high volumes for a given day of the week. From using this dashboard, executives and managers can quickly understand, collaborate, and report on work orders at their facilities. In my next demonstration, I will show how office space utilization can be resourceful for executives and managers who need to understand and communicate on how to solve spatial problems. In this final demonstration, we will look at an ArcGIS Indoors office space dashboard, which can be leveraged to help with office space utilization. The data for vacant and occupied offices can be streamed from a relational database that can be brought into the dashboard. As you noticed, by using the vertical floor selector and the facility selector, we can gain more accurate perspective of what space needs to be looked at. By changing the facility and vertical floor selectors, the indicators for vacant and occupied office space change to reflect that particular building. We can also gain spatial understanding for office space utilization in pie charts. This will allow managers the ability to report on offices that are available for new employees and for existing employees looking to move. We can also toggle the tab at the very bottom to explore gross versus net area of facilities on campus. Here, we can select the particular building that we want to look at for the gross versus net area by facility. Particularly, I can select O and go back to the map and see it highlighted on the map. And that concludes our proof of concept of how bringing facility information into a common operating picture and making it accessible through the web 
and mobile applications will help employees, technicians, managers, and high-level executives be able to make valuable improvements in their day-to-day -day workflows.